za kununuliwa lakini sisi tungaenda kumzetea uhai tunasema asante Mungu tunakurudishia sifa na shukurani kwa maana umetupenda zaidi ya wengine wote baba asante asante kwa sababu upendo wako unapita fahamu zetu Mungu kwa maana hakuna lolote tulikupatia hakuna chochote tulikupatia lakini ni neema zako na fadhili zako Mungu zinaendelea kwa pamoja nasi baba tunakurudishia tena sifa na shukurani kwa kuifikia siku ya leo na tariki ya leo kwa maana wewe ulitupenda ulijua kwamba siku ya leo tutakutana wana wako tukiwa sisi wote tukiwa wazima tazama ni wiki mzima bila tuonani lakini damu yako ya thamani iliendelea kutulinda na kutuwezesha waliokuwa wagonjwa ni waponya tukaenda kukutana tena katika siku ya leo na tariki ya leo jioni nzuri Mungu jioni takatifu Mungu jioni ambayo unipenda ile ambayo umetuchagulia kwa maana tukusanyike na kukutanana tazama sasa tuko hapa mbele zako Bwana wana wako tukikusanyika ajili ya kuweza kusikia neno lako ndio ambao unaenda kutuandalia katika siku ya leo Mungu tunasema asanti na shukurani kwa maana ni wewe umetupenda ni wewe umependa umetujaji tunasema asanti tunapokualika Mungu katika siku ya leo tunaomba uko wako roho mtakatifu aendelee kutanda hema hapa roho mtakatifu aendelee kushirika hapa wajeshi wako wa mbinguni Mungu aendelee kutushirikia na kutulinda mkono wako wa rehema ndio kwa juu yetu tunachoomba Mungu ulinzi na usalama kutoke kwako Bwana Asante kwa mambo yote ya jioni ya leo yatakayotendeka. Tunawakabidhi watumishi wote mikono mwako, watakao kuwa waimbaji watakapotuimbia, nyimbo zao zende kuita mafuta ndani yetu. Waende kuwaimbisha kama vinavyo kuangalia Bwana. Watakao kuwa ubiri, watakao kuwa samamizi katika siku ya leo, wote ni katika vitanga vya mikono mwako. Tunaomba Roho Mtakatifu aende kuongoza mambo yote katika siku ya leo na tariki ya leo. Kwa maana ni wewe umeyapanga na umeyajua. Asante Bwana Yesu kwa maana utatuacha utakopa kwa nasi utatusaidia kwa muda wote wa jioni hii tutakuwa tuko hapa tunaenda kupokea baraka kutoka kwako kwa damu yako Yesu Kristo mungu wetu amini amen amen haleluya tena hebu mzima kofi mengine na mimi na wewe asante sana sana tunashukuru tunashukuru sana kwa kusafiri wetu na wakristo wote kwa kazi kubwa ambayo tuliweza kufanya kwa siku ya leo. Mungu atubariki sote. Bwana, bado unapokuwa kuna hima, unapiga makofi, unacheza, bado unakuta unatiki sasa tani kule chini kule. Bwana hakuwa hana nguvu tena. Lakini ukiona ukishaza na kabaliti baliti tu hivi, basi ibiliza na sababu kwa mechi nimeshika huyu. Hata uweza kuimba, hata uweza kupiga makofi. Kwa hiyo inabidi tuendelee Mwenyezi Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ndio basi ni muda mwingine mzuri wa kukaribisha wageni. Lakini kwa siku ya leo naona hatuna wageni ila tuna watu wawili ambao wanamaliza siku mmoja kuwepo naye hapa tunapindi alikuwa amesafiri na kuna mwingine anaweza kuelekea wiki nyingi tu anakuwa siku nyingi aingie hapa basi ningewaomba wakasimame na waweza kusalimu kanisa basi ningeanza kwa mtungaji wetu Desire aweze akasimame akasalimu kanisa Bwana asifiwe ni Dieu merci na ya nishimama salimu kanisa tunaumisi siku nyingi sana
Kwa hivyo hivyo mkae mwema, msitoke. Kuna unaotoka hivyo. Unatumia gazeti la saa manane na 10 na 5 unachukua dakika za 30 za upunguzi. Tunaosha mbinguni. Sasa hapa kwa ndani ya Yesu na vile kwa wema mkae Basi ningeomba tu kitu kidogo. Tupokee wale wengine wa kula ambao tulikuwa nao siku nyingi. Hatuko nao hapa.
mtembea wimbo mzuri sana. Kwa kweli watu wengi siku hizi wanakubali uongo sana. Na nasema uongo hapa moja wamesema neno la kusema kwamba kuhotea na kuchongani kuchonganisha maana nikikumbuka kuna wakati mmoja hapa Colorado Springs unajua uongo unajenga na ule ulimu unatoa tu ukitamuka tu Haiwezi kaje nyuma tena. Inaenda sehemu zote. Mtu mmoja hapa ndo akawahi sema kwamba eti Unajua yule? Somebody here once said, do you know that person? Iko anaenda na report record watu kwenye masimu. He's going around recording people on your cell. Eti ukimpigia simu, if you call them on your cell phone, atakurecord. They'll record you. Na ikawa imefika kipindi fulani watu wengi wakawa wamekataa kwa kuhakikisha simu ya kawaida kupigia mtu. Most people did not use regular phones to call other people. Walikuwa wanatumikisha tu nini WhatsApp. They only used WhatsApp. Kwa kuogopa because they were afraid ile eti watamrecord that somebody else will record them. Mungu atumie sana. Kuna siri gani hapa isiyojulikana kwa Mungu? Is there any secret here that God doesn't know? No, most companies they record us and they see everything that we do. Lakini tu ya ulimi tu kitoa tu ndogo tu kukiseba tu. But because of your tongue, if you say something, watu wanakupani uongo haraka sana kuzidu kwenye. People accept lies very fast. Lakini kwa sisi wa Kristo, vizuri ni kuchuta kwanza ile neno linalo kujia it's very important to to think or to usilikubalie tu moja kwa moja not accept any word very fast you have to to tafakari kwanza to think about it mungu atusaidie sana basi pamoja na hayo tulikuwa tumeshakaribisha wageni wetu that we had already welcome our visitors lakini tungeomba tuwakaribishe wengine ambao tumekuwa nao kwa muda huu. Basi tungewaomba wakashimame, watusalimu na watuelezee majina yao na vile wanatoka. I'm not a lot of guests have been here before. I'm the youngest friend from high school.
for those with uh, good, uh, books from Kirundi.
ila kabla matangazo kidogo kwa matangazo tunapenda tupitishe kidogo hapa Tunaomba wenye watoto we ask for people who are little kids msiwaache waende peke yao kule nje don't let them go outside by themselves maana mmeona wameshafanya decoration yao ya christmas hapa as you see they already decorated for christmas na mjitizama wameshaweka kamera zote ziko kila sehemu mahali popo many cameras everywhere kwa hiyo kitu kilibika wataona ni wanaume walio kiarifu. Na hata hiyo ni kitu hapo kuna mabiti viti vile vile. Even everything of the chairs was yangushi. Don't let them think that so they fall down. Mungu atusaidie sana. Amen. Kwa kwa wapi sio baba? Ni mtu ambaye sadaka. Karibu. Yeah. 
Wakati umefika hapa when I'm right here Mama ile pale mama mchungaji our mother there na mamangu mkwe and uh, my pillow my, my mother in law walikuwa wanaomba they were praying lakini mimi kweli kila kichanganyo but for me I was I confused myself nilianza kujikata makiki I started like uh, cutting my I was nikachikoboa I changed my skin color. I was wearing wigs. So they, the problem with the wigs and the rasta. This hair they come from a bad place. Uh, some people they say I put this on because I don't want to come. Au nataka nionekane mzuri. Oh I want to look beautiful. Lakini si nzuri zimele. But those hair are not good. Kuna tiba ina mbili. There are two types. Lakini uweze kujua ya kuzimu ni ipi. But you cannot know which one comes from the devil. Na na ya dunia ni ipi. And which one comes from the earth. Kwa maana zinatengenezwa. Because they make them. Hizi nywele za kuzimu. This hair from uh, the from hell. Kofia za kuzimu the heart from hell zinatengenezwa kwa ajili ya kuteka wa Kristo wote waende kuzimu they are made so that they can take all the christians to go to hell kwa sababu zina code number ya kuzimu because they have a code number from hell na zina kazi kubwa inafanya katika mwili wa mwanadamu and they have a big job that they do in the body of a, a human being kila kitweka kwenye mwili wako everything that you put on your body kama akitoki kwa Mungu it's not coming from God. Manake inakuja na chini yake. That means it comes with its own devil, its own spirit. Hii nywele unayofunika makofia. The hair when you put the wigs. Na unasuka meshe. And you make a, you braid your hair. Inashikwa na chini sharife. It comes with the spirit called sharife. Na huyo na huyo chini sharife. And that uh, sharif spirit Anakuwa chini mwanaume. It's a spirit, it's a male spirit. Hata kama umeokoka namna gani. Even if you're saved, um, no, even if you're saved. Unakuta anakuja kwa njia mbalimbali. He comes in different ways. Utafanya uzinifu usiku. At night you will be um prostituting. Hata kama umeolewa. Even if you're married. Utakuwa unaota unafanya na mume wako. You will be dreaming that you are having a uh, intercourse with your husband. Lakini sio mume wako. That that's not your husband. Ni hilo jini ambalo umelikaribisha ndani ya maisha yako. That spirit that you've invited in your life. Na huyo jini. And that spirit. Ukishaka zile nywele. Once you put those hair. Kama wewe unawekaga. Wewe wanazitiaga. For those who put them there. Unakuta zinaumishaga upande mmoja kichwa. You will feel that a part of your head is in pain. In Abasua, Abba. Like somewhere around here, it feels so much pain, and it comes this side. Na pale na pumia. And when you have pain there, na ndo kwa ni wanatoa dam ya kafara kuti ya mbuwa kwenye. And that's why they remove uh, the sacrificing blood from your body. Kama aida kuti ya kichwa ni kuchukua dam yako. If it's not coming from head to take your blood, wanachukua kuti ya tumbola yako. They take from your stomach. Unakuta wakati ukiingia mwezi wako you feel like when you have your menstrual period unakuta tumbo linauma sana you feel like you have a very difficult to stomach is very painful fahamu zinaisha you lose your mind manake ile chini that means that spirit iko inachukua ile damu it's taking that blood inapeleka kuzimu it's taking it to hell kwa kwa kristo wengi many christians wana matatizo haya they have those problems hata tukiona watoto wetu hawa dogo our young kids sisi tulikuwa na mimi nilikuwa na watoto wadogo me i had little kids kama una wasuka nywele leo tunaweka mesh naweka kitu chochote when you bread them and you put the mesh maana huko na waorozesha kuzimu that means you are you are guiding them towards hell na ndio maana kuta sana moja mtoto akusiki and sometimes you you see the children who not understand not listen to you ukimwambia kitu akusiki tell them something they will not listen to you kwa maana umeshamorozesha mwenyewe mama yake wenye mwangu wa roho because you as a mother you've already guided them to to to, to, to help 
ndio matatizo ya ismeshe tunazoziweka that is the problem of the weeds that we put on na makeup uh, makeup na pia na shikoga na na jini mwingine it also has a different spirit na ima makope hii ya wanawe tunaweka gai and the eyelashes that we put on nayo ina ina jini wake ambaye anashika hiyo it also has a different spirit that uses hii mafuta ya kutigeuza mwili the lotion that changes uh, that you make yourself bleach naye ana jina lake maimuna it also has its name maimuna sasa kumbuka now remember unapoweka makeup when you are putting on makeup si juu kama ni rangi ngapi msi tu i don't know how many colors you put there si hiyo kosi ya wewe kuweka kwenye wangu that's what i've never put on my body kama ni rangi saba unatia kwenye sura yako if it's seven different colors that you put on your wangu maana kumeka machini saba kwa mwili wako. That means you put seven different uh, spirits on your face in your face. Kwa hivi vitu vinavyo viweka. These things when you put them on vina matatizo katika maisha yetu. They have a lot of problems in our lives. Wachungaji wanahubiri wanasema acha hivi. Our preachers they they preach and they say leave those. Lakini sasa sisi tunasema wana wana tuchukia we said that they don't like us they hate us wana tupenda ah they love us unajua sisi wa mama wakati tunakufa you know us our mothers when we die wa baba wana bahati sana ah the fathers they are lucky wao yani hawana kitu chochote for them they don't have too many things lakini kuna wana wao wanachukubana wa but there are some men who they they they, they find their way lakini wana wao tuko nao hapa and the men that we have here mungu awabariki god bless you Yes. Yes. Mama and when a mother died tuna, tuna shida kubwa sana. We have a big problem. Asa so our mothers we need to stop uh, put those things on our kids. Nimona, queen I saw queen here she was looking very beautiful. Zaki. She closed she close her hair. Unajua wakati nimebadilika no when i changed we will be talking my daughter that I, she was born here in the us she was telling her that mom you are very bad since i was born you've never braided my hair even just like a simple hair she's never done that but i was just holding her hair because as the mothers when we die we have a big problem when if you die and you have all these things on your body every spirit will come to take its own if you you braided your hair you not going to help with the hair they will take them away and your skin if you put on makeup he has to take it so leave my makeup if you put uh, paint on your fingernails you have to take them out you go to hell you don't have anything uh, like me who was putting things on they take away uh, for me who was bleaching uh, they will take away all my skin so when i go to hell it will be just empty skin i will think of all the, the, the pain that you you suffer in hell and when the parents are still guiding us and our parents our parents here it's our god here on earth come on if your parents tells you leave this manake ni mungu anapitia kwa church that means it's god who is using their mouth unajua wakati mwanamke amekufa anasikiwa ni wewe hizi you know when a woman the lady dies and they are pregnant wa mama anataka kumfumua First they have to uh, unbraid it. Wana fumua maiti. They unbraid the uh, the corpse. Sasa wakati wana fumua mtu mwenye ameshakufa. When they unbraid somebody is already dead. Anaenda mbinguni yule. Will they go to heaven? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mungu atuhumie. 
kipele sasa zime zime adalopa jili malikia wa kuzima peke yake this a type of hair was uh, prepared for the queen of hell yeah but what we tell you is in where is thing to know who is she is the one who are the they had to pay this hair that we buy for her command at the voice of where the queen of kuzima because when that queen of hell when she put on those hair ana uwezo kubomoa ndoa ya mtu she has the power to destroy a to destroy the churches. Sometimes when we come with those in the church, we can even prevent the glory of God. We can be praising God but there are prayers that will start right here. There are prayers that will open heaven and prayers that just stop these prayers that stops here doesn't go anywhere but the prayers that are open you feel that everybody they are filled with the power of God for that this message was given a long time ago and that's the same time that I also had stopped all those uh, different things. For that if you want to go to heaven, God wants you to go the way he created. God created two types of people on earth. The white people, they were blessed with their own hair. Their hair is long. They don't have to break. Yeah, hair is long. Even a little child of two years, you will find their hair is all the way back here. But for us Africans, even if we do what, no matter what we do, our hair will not be long. They can be long because there are some people who are born with long hair. But the majority it's a uh, short hair that uh, they call. And those are very beautiful. We don't know ourselves. God loved us very much. He gave us beautiful hair and a beautiful body. And others he gave long hair. But remember in heaven, we all will have one type of hair. No one, there will be no one with long hair. The other one short. That's the beauty of God. That we have to hold the truth. The Bible says the truth. The Bible says leave everything. Even when Moses was uh, crossing with the church. Uh, with the children of Israel. God told the Moses, tell the children of Israel, they have to remove all their makeups. I want to speak to them. But they have a hardened heart. Even up to today, people have hardened hearts. Our pastors, they preach a lot. And I, I said, I thank them a lot. For their preaching. That is why I had to open up this message. Me, I just open myself. Whoever will say, ah, this mom, she's lying. But for me, I open myself. This burden, I had it since 2020. But today, I decided to give you. For whoever will say, ah, this mom, she doesn't want us, she doesn't want us to look beautiful. Even no matter what you do, heaven will not enter. I say the truth, heaven will not enter. I will not. And if you are, you are saved, and if you fast, if you are not living these things, 
How tight they are people? You are not going. You are not entering heaven. Nana wapi ya ukwe? And I'm telling you the truth. Mtu matazikia imaneno. Whoever who listen to this message. Asema kwa mwapi ni kachomi ni manu bima bima kofia ni kwa nani? And say let me burn all these weeds. Ni wana kama mungu watafungu. And I'll see God will open. Utaona Jesus tafungu liwa. You will see that God will do will open or will be with you. Kama kitu kwa kina kuma. If you had had it. Kama kitu kwa kina kuma. If you had stomach aches. Kama mikuu ni kuna uma. One your legs. Kama kitu kwa ni kuna uma. It was your your loin. Ndo kuni jina na kaa. That's why the spirit sits. Jini Sharif. Uh, the, the spirit of Sharif. He loved those places. So that he can take your blood. For us, we, we give, we do that to ourselves. Through the hair. Through the uh, makeup. For that, our mothers, we have to be strong. And if we leave these things, God will bless the church very much. The Spirit of God will walk. God will come down our markers. You will see how people will be filled with the power of Christ. We will read a little bit. But I just wanted to give this message. Because it was a burden to me. I have said it before. And maybe there are other people who, who have not gone through that path. But because I closed myself, because a lot of people to do what they are not supposed to do. God forgive me. Because I had it in my heart. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ninajua ni pepesi sana kuacha. I know it's very easy to leave those things. As avina nguvu kabisa. It's not hard to leave them. Kama utabatizwa, if you're not baptized yet, wewe ukwa bado kabisa hujapata hujaamua. That means you haven't really decided. Sasa kama sasa tunaviacha. Now when you leave them, baptizwa sasa. Be baptized. Now, okay. Once you're baptized, well, you'll become a child of God. All those things God will leave behind will rest. And now there are those who are already baptized. Now, and they they say they, that I will follow Christ. Everything of the devil will leave behind. Now something uh, misled you. To uh, repent. Now say my yes to And say Jesus, I come back to you. Now yes to And Jesus will welcome you. Yes yeah, now uh, we need to read. Exodus. Kutoka sana sini na tatu. Yeah. Eight to that's thirty three. Moja baka sita. One through six. Kama kama ni pata na umba aso. If somebody has it, I should read. Eight to that's thirty three. One through six.
nami nitawafukuza mkanaani na mwamori na mhiti na mperizi na mhivi na mnyeusi waifikirie nchi imiminikayo maziwa ya asali kwa maana mimi sitakwenda kati yenu kwa sababu mimi ni watu wenye shingo ngumu nisiwaangamize nini katika njia watu waliposikia habari hizo mbaya wakaomboleza wala hapana mtu aliyevaa vyombo vyake vya uzuri Wana akamwambia Musa waambie wana wa Israeli nyinyi ni watu wenye shingo ngumu kama mimi nikiingia kati yenu dakika moja nitawaangamiza basi sasa kuweni vyombo vyenu vya uzuri ili nipate kujua nitakalo wa tenda basi wana wa Israeli wakavua vyombo vyao vyote vya uzuri tangu mlima wa Horebu na mbele amen amen uh, 31:26 then the lord spoke to moses if I go out from here, you and the people whom you have brought out from the land of Egypt, to the land of which I saw to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob saying, To your descendants I will give. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Havites, and the Jebusites. Go up to a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go up in your midst, because you are an obstinate people and I might destroy you on the way. When the people heard this sad word, they went into mourning, and none of them put on their his ornament. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to the sons of Israel, You are an obstinate people. You are an obstinate people. Should I go up in your midst for one moment, I will destroy you. Now therefore put off your ornament from you that I may know what shall I do with you. So the sons of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onward. Amen. 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 We'll read about uh, putting colors on, in our hair. Uh, some people say I'm old. I'll put, um, I'll put, I'll dye my hair black so that people don't see my white hair. We'll read Matthew. Matthew 5, 36. Na wewe utakapo tewa, utafanya aje? 
Ujapo jimfika mavazi mekundu, ujapo jipamba mapambo ya dhaabu, ujapo jitia wanja machoni, unajifanya kuwa mzuri, ule tu, wapenzi wako, wanakutharau, wanakutafuta roho yako. Amen. Uh, Jeremiah uh, chapter 4 verse 3 And you, O desolate one, what will you do? Although you dress in scarlet, although you decorate yourself with ornaments of gold, although you enlarge your eyes with paint, in vain you make yourself beautiful. Your lovers despise you, they seek your life. Amen. All these uh, words they are in the Bible. For that we have to see what are the things that God reveals. When I read like this, even me, I was uh, astonished. I did not know that uh, there there's eyelashes in the Bible. But it isn't there. Everything that we do uh, under the sun, the Bible refuses. And this Bible is the one that uh, put rules. When we are on the community of heaven, the devil has the Bible. And God will have the Bible. For that will be judged with the actions that we do under the sun. Everything that we put on our body. The devil will say, this is my person. And God also will say, oh, this was my servant. Just a little thing. Jesus will cry here. Because when he came to save us, he died on the cross. It was because of these things. And that's why God told Moses, these people, they have hardened hearts. Even today we have hardened hearts. Our preachers, they preach every day. They Pentecost from from a long time ago, they, uh, they had that respect. They walk in the in the good way. Even their dressing. The dressing of respect. Now the old Pentecost. And today is the same. It hasn't changed. It's not like the old Pentecost was doing this. Even today, mom, we should change. Our young daughters, we should change. We should not lead our children astray. Our children, they should not go in the wrong places. When they go to hell, Because the children will say it was my mother. 
Lakini mama Mungu na atasema hapo kumbuka mama hii siko nikwambia God will say no it's not your mother remember your mother on this day they told you this Akasema siku hii tena and again on this other day hakumsikia did not listen Kwa hiyo mama miku inakuwa yake inaingia for that the mother will go to heaven Na wewe unaenda hapa ndipo tichagulia for you you go where you chose for yourself Kwa hiyo kwa sababu sisi wote tunataka kwenda mbinguni Now just because we, we all want to go to heaven Na tunataka maisha ya duniani tuishi vizuri we want to live good under the sun Kwa maana shetani anatunyanyasa because the devil the disrupt us Tunapofanya vitu hivi when we do all these things Kweli ndio haina amani marriage there's no peace Kila saa utakuwa unalalamika tu Every time you just be crying Na kumbuka mimi nilikuwa natipaga mafuta I remember when I was putting when I was bleaching Nilikuwa nalalamika kila siku I was screaming at Kitu kinanuma My head is hurt What's going on? I don't feel myself. Why? Because I have a spiritual heart. We have to leave uh, makeups of this earth. We should not close the door to go to heaven for other people. Because some other things might affect the work of God. Or just coming to church. Because of us, ourselves. They will ask themselves. Why should I go to church? Because those who go to church. Just like the ones who stay at home. If it's clothing, it's the same even the people they are they wear the same. If it's the makeup, the people in the world also put or the people in the church also put makeup. So why am I going to church? I'll just fix my heart right here. Praise God. That we have to prepare ourselves in the journey to go to heaven. To see when we only go home, we should have had a heart. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not be blessed. If we are going to go to heaven, we will not Until you say, I will not be God. When God did great things for you, you say, I will not be God. But when you forget, you start uh, saying bad things about God. I did not do this to me. For that, we have to leave this. We have to go to heaven. We have to remember. We have been told that we cannot change our black hair to be white. When our hair becomes white, let them be white. The Bible says that the beauty of an old person is the hair on their head. So if you are old and your hair is white and you're putting uh, paint, I want them to be black. Just small things. And when we see them, we think it's normal. Those are the ones that will take us in the wrong place. That let us stand up. Let me seek God with all the power. That's when we we'll see the heaven. Without that, we will not be The devil will have us. And one day, we will go to hell. we just hear it on our mouth. But yes, they will suffer. It's a big suffering. Because Jesus 
Jesus himself is not happy. Jesus is not happy. The way he gave himself. For us. He came to be born like that. But for us, we are still taking him back to the cross. And it's been saved. In the hell. When the earth. When the world is put together. And the hell is put together. And it's taken to the hell fire. That fire will be multiplied seven times. Now think about all those things. We are still saying, ah, let me do this. The Bible says, even if you wear beautifully, no matter how beautifully you wear, but there are other people who always tell you that you're not, you're ugly, you're not good. You cannot change anything. If you're ugly, Bad or ugly. Even if you add stuff in your face, your ugliness is there. If you're beautiful, the way God, uh, the way it came from your mom's womb, you are very beautiful. Whoever to whom I have listened, I have listened. And this debt, I have taken it out of my heart. I don't have any debt. And now I'm free. I can preach, I can preach whenever. But this message was preventing me. Was Pastor was coming. We are asking if you can preach. I tell him no. Because if I say yes, this message, this word was condemning me. But for now, I open myself. I thank God. Whoever received this word has received. Or whoever will refuse the, the message, they will answer in front of God. God bless you. Amen. 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 Kama mimi 
nilivyo shinda nikaketi pamoja na baba yangu katika kiti chake cha enzi yeye aliye na sikio na alisikie neno hili ambalo roho aliambia makanisa amen amen, amen. Na kusia tu neno yeye aliye na sikio asikie I only touch the word whoever has ears let them hear Maneno ambalo aliambia makanisa the words that they have been told to the churches Makanisa wa wakati huu ni sisi ambao tuko tunaambiliwa kwa sasa uh, churches at this time is us for us who are, who are receiving the messages right now kwa hiyo ujiulize wakati Yesu atakapokuja kufundisha wote kwa wote unatokea that you have to ask yourself when Jesus come and knock at your door for you receive him utafakari mwaka wote huu think about the whole year tunaendelea kumalizia mwaka we to finish this year au jue ni wakati gani Mungu atakapokutokea you don't know when God will receive kwa hiyo ujitayarishe that you have to Tengeneza maisha yako. Fix your life. Mungu atusaidie sana. God bless us. Help us. Kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana kwa mabila ya siku ya leo. That we are thankful for the message of today. The word of today. Mungu atubariki sote. God bless us. Amen. Basi Amen. Mungu atusimame. Asa da we stand up. Sijua kwa wagonjwa kati yetu. We are people who are sick among us. Unaweza kujua mimi kuna ujumbe. Naona hakuna. Basi tunaomba mchungaji Desire ask our pastor Desire. Inawezekana kuna wengine waweza kuonekana hapa kwa watu wa Roma na Juma ni kwao. Maybe some people are not here because they are sick back home. Waombe na ufungi ibada vile vile. Pray for them and close the service. Na kutuombea ni baraka kwa wengine tunayoenda kuanza pray for blessing for the week that will be starting thank you Lord mtakatifu baba wa mbinguni na mwitika asante kwa kipindi vyote ambavyo vimepita ajili yetu ajili ya kuambiwa na kusikia asante kwa wale watu wako uliwaita ajili ya kuogopa kasa kwa mlele tumbie moyo wa kutuka tumbie moyo wa kutafakari kwa neema yako tunaishi tunaishi wala wengine wetu hawakotea si kwa akili yetu na nguvu zetu na mali yetu ama kwa masomo uzuri ama ni neema za kwa tunakushukuru Mungu wetu uendelee kusema pamoja na watu wako Sema na kanisa, sema na watumishi, sema na wadada, sema na wakaka, useme nasi tutafakari dunia mpaka wapi. Biblia inasema kweli tutaweza kupata yote, lakini haina faida kama tunakosa ufalme wa mbinguni. Ni wakati wa kila mtu kujiuliza, kila mtu kuchota, kila mtu kulilia Mungu. Baba tunasema Mungu wetu tupe sifa kwa watumishi wako kwa maneno ya leo ajili ya kutayarisha ufalme wa Mungu. Hii inasaidia watu wako na kusaidia Bwana kila mtu ndani na huko ndani kwa kidogo tupate kuchanga pamoja ili tupate kuona na kaza. Asante Mungu tunakushukuru. Baadhi yetu kuna wagonjwa ambao wanaonekana kuna wajua Bwana. Mali walipo ni kuwagusa mali pote wanapokuwa Mungu usiwaache usiku kama vile mchana tunawaombea kwa kuwa magumu ya umoja ni nguvu ambapo kila mmoja ndio kumsaidia kupitia imani babu wakumbuke wote wapendo katika njia ya mbinguni walikuwa na nguvu sana katika kanisa na kusikia ibada lakini achi ya magonjo hawakoneka Mungu tunakuja kuombea tunakuja kuwapatia usima kupitia kwa kwa Mungu na mamlaka ya kuwaponya mali pote walio. Wana wengine nataka kuanza kesho. Shule za kazi, shule za masomo kwa wanafunzi, tutembee kwa miguu kwa magari, 
kuna mtihani uko ndani ya barabara bwana kuna mimi na michongoma ambaye adui aliendelea kutanda mamlaka yake na majaribu yake kwa watu wote lakini jungu Mungu na tamaa umetokongoa tunakucha kulali kila mamlaka yote katika uwezo wa Yesu Kristo nguvu za kuyuka chini ya maksimu watu wako wanaotembeza magari tunaporudia mbali wewe utulie bwana utufungue macho ya kona ya kuibuka mbele nyuma kushoto na kuume basi nakushukuru bwana baraka zako ulinze na uwezo wewe kwa moja nasi tukiombeke na hichi ya maana zaidi Mungu tukumbuke kuzaliwa kwa mwana wako peke Yesu Kristo ipate kuwasimuke ya kupata uzima mpya amen